Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a high school advice video. I put on my Instagram story to ask any questions that you have. I didn't really know how to word it, so some people, because I just put high school advice in the little question thing, so some people actually just gave their own advice, so um, I think I'm going to include that at the end, like some things that people said, um, but then a lot of you guys also asked questions. What it, Okay, can I like not glitch? So make sure to follow my Instagram because that's where I always do question things or obviously I just post my life on there more than like a couple times a week on YouTube. So go check that out if you want. And yeah, I am about to be a senior. So I thought this would be good to just give you some advice based on my previous years. And yeah, who knows if we're going back into school. So a lot of these may not even apply, but you know, it's good to watch for the future or if you are going back to school. I'm gonna start from the bottom. I'm going to a new school since I just moved and one advice on making good Good friends so this was like a lot of them on how to make friends and I think my advice would be to definitely be patient with it it took me a long time to find actually good friends um, but I think participating in activities I know like everyone says that but that's where I met um, Laura I met her in track and I feel like it's just good I mean I'm sure you'll find people like in your classes I know it seems like overwhelming especially when you're going to a new school where you don't know anybody but I feel like it'll just naturally come about and if it's hard I don't know it's kind of hard to explain because I feel like your people will just come like it'll kind of be least expected yeah, I would definitely just say be patient, join activities, maybe try and be a little bit outgoing. And it's okay to just like be by yourself and be working on yourself, you know? Even though it may seem like, ugh, like I don't have any friends or like I'm not doing anything every night. Like, I think it's just better to be alone and like waiting for those good friends instead of like doing things every night with like people that you don't feel comfortable with, you feel like you're trying to impress them all the time, like that is just the most draining feeling. So that would be my advice. How do you stay organized while being online in class? So I like using my planner. I do not understand. I feel like I've said that in a video, like how people don't use planners. I just think it's so convenient. So I'll just go through, well, at least online, la like the end of last year, we just had Google Classroom. I don't know if we're doing Zoom or not. So I like have no idea how that's gonna work, but on Google Classroom, I'll just go through what I had to do each day and write down, you know, like Spanish quiz or math worksheet. And then that just helped me stay really organized and know what I had to do for the day. And I would also write down if it has like a time that it's due. Like a lot of times I would, I would have an English assignment and it would say due tomorrow, but it was due at like 7 a.m. the next day So like that would have been good to know because well, I think I know I don't think I ever made that mistake, but like I could have totally seen myself being like, oh, I have this English thing tomorrow and then waking up at like 11 and it's past due, you know? So I would just check the times and write down everything you have to do. And then if you also have things to do throughout the day, just be good at time management and plan your day out. So that's why I like using a planner or like a to-do list. Like be like, oh, I have to do like my homework in the morning and then go out to lunch or work out here and then you can just have your day all organized. So that's what helps me. Dating advice. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people do want boyfriends just to have one, you know, but I would say my advice, <laughs> I don't know why I'm like not wanting to say this. I'm like, in my opinion, um, I would just say wait for someone who really shows you that they want to be with you. I feel like for a long time, I was so into like words and like, oh, this person is texting me and this is what they're saying. But the things they were saying wasn't matched what they were, I don't even know if that was the, like English. The things they were saying wasn't matching how they were treating me or their actions at all. Wait for somebody who's gonna really show you that they like you and go out of their way and make you feel good, you know? And I also feel like in high school, it's like, oh, he has a girlfriend, but he's flirting with like all these girls and he's doing all this like bad stuff, you know? I would just say wait for a good guy. <sighs> Why am I like out of breath? Wait for a good guy that you're proud to be with and who's respectful and nice at least in my opinion that's like what i want in somebody and i don't know just someone who genuinely likes you you know it's not like oh we're dating and like i always feel insecure and like he's always with these girls or talking to this like it's just not worth it at that point you know so my advice would be to just wait for the right guy who's going to show you that he likes you and is loyal and everything you want in a guy you know don't settle because you're so young and it's like oh i just want a boyfriend like like this guy will work you know what i mean he texts me every day like i don't know just doing like the bare minimum stuff um, I would say wait for someone that you really like and that would be my dating advice And if you can't find that that's totally fine I feel like that's another thing when people can't find what they want They're like, oh that just must not exist and just go to any guy what you do not want to do Then you're just gonna feel like ugh, I don't even really want to be in this relationship, you know how to maintain your grades Well, maybe if like okay So if you have a good grade and maybe like your grades are slipping that's kind of the situation I'm like envisioning I would say email your teachers or ask for their help or parents or friends 
Like if you know that your friend is really good in like math or like science, ask them in those subjects, you know, or other people that you know of the same um, teacher and period as you to help you if your grades are slipping or just go over. Like be like, oh my gosh, like I really thought I got a good grade on that and I just got like a 50, like what happened? But I would just review whatever the test or quiz was on that you got a bad grade. Should we use just our backpack or our locker? So I just use my backpack because honestly the locker, like it took me so long to even know how to do the lock, which was annoying. Also, I we had like seven periods, so we changed classes a lot and there was like such little time between each class and usually it was like, oh, this class over here and like your other class on the other side of the building. So I usually didn't have time to stop in my locker. So I just used my backpack and it was fine. I had like three subjects in like one binder, so it wasn't even that heavy either. So I would say use your backpack. Is sophomore year much different than freshman year? I don't think so. Honestly, every year has been pretty easy for me. That may just be because of the classes I take. I usually take like academic or honors, no AP classes. So I know like I'm always scared for a new year because there's always this assembly in the beginning of the year and it's like, oh my gosh, it's going to be so much harder. But usually every year is like the same. So I would say it's not really much different. But again, I think it really just depends on your school and like your own classes that you're taking. Do you need to bring makeup to school? Oh, uh, you definitely don't need to, but I guess if you want to. I don't know, I see girls doing their makeup a lot in the bathroom, so I think that's like a normal thing. How do you stay productive and not procrastinate homework? So this one is pretty hard, especially towards the end of last year. I found myself doing this a lot, especially because I wasn't used to online school, so I was just like sitting in my room all day and it was really easy to procrastinate. But something that helped me was getting up early in the morning and trying to get everything done and realizing that if if I just sit on my phone like I'm gonna feel lazy so I like to get up early and maybe just go on a walk or like do like a 10 minute workout and I just automatically feel better and then I like just getting myself ready and then I'm most likely like ready to do my work high school drama it's kind of like broad like advice on high school drama but I would say don't take it too seriously it's literally high school like everyone makes mistakes whether it's like you're in the wrong for the drama or someone else I just say don't beat yourself up too much over it like everyone's learning what is high school you're like 14 to 18 like i would much rather make mistakes in high school and have like drama with people you know than like being like that immature when you're older you know and i think it helps you learn a lot too but i would say try and stay away from drama obviously like if you have a friend group and it just seems so much drama all the time i would like try and like distance yourself from that how to get along with your teachers and classmates i would say just be nice and respectful that's what how i try to be in class i'm just quiet and like smiling. Yeah, I like talking to my teachers a lot. I think it's good to like make small talk or if you're like early in the class, just ask them how they are. I think it's really nice to be close with your teachers and classmates. Again, kind of the same thing, just like be nice and like open to talking to new people. Do you recommend taking an AP class freshman year? So I would just say no, I've never taken an AP class just because it feels like a lot, but also I haven't taken one. So I don't know if it's like less than it seems. So I don't really know because I never have taken one, but I would personally say no, just because I feel like that's a lot for your first year of high school, but also it may be easy. So I don't, here I'll text, actually I'll text Sydney because I think she took an AP class her freshman year. So we'll see her response because I can't really give much input because I haven't taken one. How to deal with friendship groups changing. This can be hard, especially when you really liked your group. Think it's normal, especially in high school when everyone is growing up or growing out of certain people or groups, I guess. And how to deal with it, I would say just be accepting of it. Like I wouldn't be like mad at anyone for changing groups or changing because that's completely normal. Like you want to change, you know? As long as you know that you're okay, like with whatever friends you have, like if you you like them you know and you like the way you're acting in yourself advice to not compare yourself to others looks grades etc comparing yourself is only gonna bring you down and everyone is so different and going through things that you have no idea about like you can't even begin to like compare yourself to them because you also like you know nothing about them I think you just need to realize that everyone is different and that's okay like even though a girl is super pretty another girl can look completely different and still be super pretty to you and that's another thing to other people like pretty means so many different things to every single pair of eyes. So I think just learning to be accepting and comfortable in your own body will help you to not compare yourself. And with grades, I think school is just something that comes naturally to a lot of people and to some people it doesn't and that's totally fine. I know for me, I took like mostly like academic, like a couple honors and I know people who took like three AP classes or already did like all this college stuff and that's totally fine because that's what they're really into and that's what they're passionate about. Advice for people who don't fully, who don't know fully what they want to do in college like a gap year I know I don't know if people would agree with that or like I don't know I just feel like it's so weird to go into college undecided but also 
maybe that would help you like decide what you want and i guess you do have to take basic classes anyway either way i guess you could make time to like figure out what you love to do while you're taking those classes in school but i think it would also be really cool to just like travel or just spend time with just yourself you know maybe you never got a chance like maybe high school is just super busy for you and you just don't know what you want to do you don't know like anything about yourself so maybe just take that time to realize what you want to do and if you can't figure it out i don't know i feel like there is something to do for everybody so whether it takes a long time to figure out or a short amount of time i would say everything is fine whatever you decide to do will be the right choice because everything is meant to happen for a reason so yeah that would be my advice maybe take a gap year or just make time for yourself if you're going in undecided to like try and figure out what you really like to do and i think a good way to start also is, isn't even like looking at jobs it's just like figuring out what makes you happy and like little random things that you like to do and then maybe that'll like describe a certain job that you never even thought about tips on how to save time in the morning to be able to sleep in a bit later plan out your outfit or your makeup maybe do like less makeup i know my like everyday makeup takes me like five minutes so maybe try and make your makeup routine shorter and already have an outfit planned and maybe take breakfast to go how do you know who to trust and who not to trust so i feel like it's kind of hard to answer it basically just through personal experiences and when people show who they really are you'll know but i think red flags are like if it's someone who talks about someone all the time like they're definitely talking about you too or someone who's like words don't match up with their actions i think it's like usually pretty obvious but try not to like ignore those red flags i know i would just ignore red flags if i liked the person like even if it was like a friend or like guy but i would just try and keep them in mind you know how to take good notes so i like to kind of summarize everything that the teacher said or like that i read online so if it's like something really long but like maybe they have um a certain way to remember or you have a certain way to remember it i would definitely just like write that down i don't know i feel like there's a lot of different ways to take notes like on a video or if the teacher's just talking or if they have like a presentation slide but i think it's important to like shorten things so it doesn't look like so much on your paper um and just like write down the main things that they're talking about how can I stay focused? I have a hard time with that. Um, I like setting out everything I need to do and then just putting my phone away or putting my phone on silent and same with my computer and stuff. Or even leaving your room, maybe going to like a coffee shop or if you have like an office in your house. Yeah, just having what you need to do in front of you and your phone on silent, I think that would really help to focus. Um, I think people, I don't like music to focus, but maybe if it was like lo-fi music, I don't know if you guys know what that is, kind of like the background music in my videos, I think that's calming, but I feel like music in your ears like can be hard to focus with, so yeah. But also some people says it helps them focus, but for me, I like no music or just like calming music. Do you need to drink to be cool or have fun? Definitely not. I think it's totally a personal choice. Yeah, I think a lot of times you can think you're missing out a lot if you see everyone taking selfies at parties or drinking all the time, but that's definitely not all there is in life is just drinking and who you're hanging out with at parties. So I definitely don't think you need to do it to be cool and there's so many other ways to have fun. But if you like to drink and that's what like makes you have a lot more fun, then go for it. But I definitely don't think it's like cool to drink though i think whatever you choose is cool so those were all the questions thank you guys so much for asking all those i hope that helped i know a few of them i was like oh i don't really know yeah i hope you guys all have a great oh my gosh ball is going crazy oh it's our new neighbor we got a new neighbor he's walking his dog um but yeah i hope you guys have a great start to high school and i will see you later